Always did. She turned, and I won't say her age, but she's celebrating a birthday today. So I just want to wish my mother a happy birthday. So glad we got the win. With that, far away with the questions. Yeah, uh, I guess let's start here. What, why wasn't Kyle Pitts involved in the offense for the first three, like three and a half? Yeah, quarters? look, again, those are uh, surface narratives. You got to give the defense has a say too. And so, you know, it's a game of count and mouse. And sometimes he's one on the progression. They took it away and we go to other places. We try to get all our guys involved because he didn't touch the ball early. It doesn't mean he wasn't called. I mean, those are, uh, I mean, those are really surface narratives. But when you come up and the game's on the line, you know, it, they, they changed it up and Matt found him when we needed to. So I was happy to see that. Well, along those lines, how, how nice was it to see him pop open there on that last? It's big. It says a lot about him, right? I mean, he's been around a lot of players. They try to do th different things to take you away, or they're trying to take certain things that we're trying to attack them. And so I give the Giants a lot of credit. That's a smart football team. Uh, they're well coached. Got a lot of respect for Patrick Graham and those defensive players. And they sat in there, and there's always things we got to clean up. I told you guys whether we win or lose, we got to keep improving. And clearly, there's a lot of things for us to improve on. But at the end of the day, it says a lot about a guy like Kyle. The ball, you know, touched the ball for three and a half quarters, and two of the biggest plays in the game, he, he comes up big in the clutch. He's uh, yeah. okay. I was gonna say, I'm sorry, he's a young guy, obviously. Have sure. you had to talk to him to keep him from getting frustrated no. at all? Or? He's exactly who we thought he was when we drafted him. Uh, you know, he's not even 21 yet. And that's not only the physical traits, the mental traits, Jeff. I think that shows up. What do you think that is? the way your defense played today? What do you think that says about kind of their resiliency? Because it seemed like they really handled a lot of what <clears throat> the Giants did fairly well. Yeah, I mean, look, as it, it's, it's, we talk about this all the time. It's a 17 week grind now. We clearly didn't, didn't play well enough weeks one and week two. We got a ton of things to improve on. Um, and if you don't improve, like I said, we're not going to be the same team in September. And we get into October, November, and that's what the good teams do. And you find a way to improve. And defensively, there's things we felt were we didn't put them in bad spots. We played complementary football in all three phases. You know, won the field position battle in certain areas that let, up, let us get to that uh, first touchdown that we desperately needed. Now, I don't like the fact that, you know, we got the ball and we gave it right back. Those are things we can work on. We got a chance to at least bang a field goal in there, knowing they're getting the ball after, after half. So, but when they, when they had to, critical plays, it's going to say a lot about your culture. Uh, to me, the culture is when there's tough times. What does it say about you? You go week one, week two, you get in a game like this on the road. The easy thing to do would be to, you know, oh, here we go again. And these guys scratched and clawed and fought. And I can't say enough about these guys and their mentality. Speaking of avoiding that, oh, here we go again, feeling they get a touchdown and a two-point conversion sure. early in the fourth quarter. What did it say? What did you see for the response you saw from both sides of the ball? Well, so that's who we want to be. It's, never, it's not going to be perfect. We know we got a ways to go. Uh, but you can see when we needed the, first, the last two drives, guys stepped up. Stepped up, we went, went down the field, scored a touchdown, kept swinging, and found different ways in the clutch. Uh, Jake Matthews, Patterson made a huge play. Then we got it down there, and Kyle gets open, and Matt did a great job hanging in there and, and getting him the ball, and ultimately won us the game. And then Young Way uh, piped it through there for us. So that's, that's what we want to do. I mean, you want to be in games at the end. And it's a huge learning process and a big step in our program. Coach, what about like at the Coach Wemba at the what if they I'll be here, uh, guys. I'm not gonna I'll answer all the questions, I promise. Um <laughs> um Kyle Pitts was taken away most of the day. Yeah. Where we get the ball to him late, a couple of yeah, catches, pass interference, call there. Yeah, I mean look, like I said, defense has a say too. We're, we're clearly guys we, we you know, we don't have to move away from the site. Yeah, we want to get the ball to our best players. The defense has a say too. So we found Red a lot early. Uh, you know, we got the running game going at times when we needed to. And OZ stepped up. Again, it's not an isolation. Like this whole thing, hey, you know, you know we're going to play isolation basketball. Yeah, we want to get Kyle the ball. You got to give Patrick Graham and the Giants defense credit. And we chipped away and chipped away, and he comes through at the end. The, you know, the surface narrative, yeah, sure, I'll look at it. Can I call him a slide or a screen to force it to him? Yeah, maybe. Um, but the way we were playing the game, we got a lot of work to do. So. They have a say, you can put it on me, D-Led, but again, it says more about his character. He kept chipping away and made a critical third down and uh, big catch on the last drive to set us up. Again, I call those surface narratives. I think it's disrespectful to the Giants and their defense and their defensive staff. Credit, credit to the player for staying ready when it did come as that's, that's what your job is as a pro. And if that's not the job description, then we got to find a different one. But that's, a, that's who the guys we have, D-Led. That's their mindset. And I can't say, how pr I can't say enough how proud I am of these guys to grind through a win like that that we desperately needed on the road.
You, you were talking before, Lou, about how this is a big step. What do you think it says about the level of buy-in that your players have? That you're only able to do what you did last week initially before sure. the fourth quarter and then do what you did in the fourth quarter today? Well, it just says that we, we, we've got to focus, and it, and it doesn't change this week, Michael. we got to, we got to improve. We know that. It's not going to change. It's because we won. That's the name of the game, and that's what we're preaching is growth and improvement, and hopefully we see, see that again this week. Yeah, I mean, it, we got we got the right mindset, and then these guys. And so this will say more about us than anything else. You know, if we, you know, if we had found a way to win bigger, yeah, it would have been nice. Maybe it would have helped everybody's blood pressure uh, that was involved with the Falcons, but – says more about our character and it's something to build off because we got plenty of things to correct. You, Arthur, you had mentioned uh, on the other, the other, I think it was earlier in the week or maybe it was last week about process and that sure. you, you know you want to look at your process. Seeing how this has kind of progressed, does this make you feel more comfortable in what your process has been? Well, you got to believe. You know, uh, you're always willing to adapt, Michael. And it's the thing you've got to be objective. You got to have core beliefs, and you always got to be able to adapt and innovate. And I'll look at the film, obviously, as a staff, what we can do better, but we're constantly doing that. And hopefully this is a, is a step that can get us going, moving forward in a, in a positive direction. You know, to win a tight game like this and play good situation football at the end as a team in all three phases, hopefully we build off this. Can I ask you just on a sure. personal level, uh, the feeling of getting your first win as a head coach, and, and what, what do you think you'll take away most from this day? Sure, I think years from now you look back and say, but I'm so focused. Um, you know, it really, it's, it's about – Everybody in this organization, about the players, the staff, the whole organization, top down and bottom back up. A lot of people put a lot of work into this. We're a team, and, uh, and credit goes to them, not to me. And, you know, hopefully we get a lot more wins than just one. So that's kind of how I look at it. One day, when I guess when I'm sitting in the mountains, maybe I'll reflect back on it. But we got to my mind's on Washington now. Did you at least get a game ball out of it? Or? Uh, yes, I did. <laughs> you, you send this guy like young way out there kick like that? Are you, are you less nervous because of who he is? Well, I mean, we've got to believe him. That's why they're here. And, you know, you, it's at that point, it's that's the, the players, the ones that, that go make it happen. And I, we got all the faith in the world in Youngway. And same thing with Cam. And don't discredit Cam. Just like, you know, uh, Jalen was a low-hanging fruit from week one. Cam was a low-hanging fruit last week. You stick with them, see how they respond. He made some hell, hell of plays with some of those punts. So, again, it's not perfect, but that's why we, you know, we we make the transactions we do, but we have a belief system and allow guys to improve. How big that. was that 37-yarder right uh, early, in, late in the second quarter that kind of flipped the field, caught a real down, but that was a big Absolutely. punt. Absolutely, that but was a big-time play. Punt, yeah, yeah in, a, in a game like this, D-Led, that, that, you know, that's a good observation because that is a huge play. That, that's a, those are winning football plays, and, and I'm proud as hell of Cam. You know, he stepped back and bounced back. That's what you want to see. You mentioned OZ. Mm -hmm. He made a couple of big catches for you. The one in the first half, how critical is just that moment to make that catch the way things were going? Yeah, I mean, every obviously when he gets to a game like this, um, every possession is magnified. Uh, most are in the NFL, but especially one like this. You know, it wasn't, wasn't the prettiest day of offensive football. Uh, but we got all the faith in the world in OZ. I, I, I think I was talking to some guys on Friday. Right, Jeff, Michael, I was telling you guys, uh, he's dependable, he's reliable. And uh, when you got guys like that, it gives you a chance to win. You talked about uh, character and hanging in there and stuff. Were there times today, whether it was at halftime or whatever, where you had to talk to the players and say, guys, just stick with it, just keep going? Yeah, they had a good mindset. You know, Jeff, I think, um, to be honest, I think that was a big, big challenge, you know, after week one. You know, you know we got out and, and jumped out, and, and like I said, it, and then it got, got, got away from us, right? We came out and, and it didn't go our way. And I didn't like that, the feeling on the sideline in that second half. And so then last week we go down to Tampa. Clearly we didn't do enough, you know, in the fourth quarter, but the guys were, were fighting, they're swinging. And that's, you talk about culture, you know, we, we, that's how you kind of shift the mindset. And so we're always talking about that. And hopefully today is another step in the right direction to get us going. How did you, going back to what like you said, you like the, what was going on in the second half in week one on the sideline. How did you go about making that shift or kind of trying to eliminate well, that? Well, it's all of us, you know, you, 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 it's either, like, that's why I don't have this fixed position, that that's the way it's always going to be. Maybe I'm crazy, but I believe you can change it. And we, we talk about it. We show plays and, and try not to let guys to do anything more than what we're asking them to do. I think that's what happens sometimes. The guys think all of a sudden you got to make a play, and they, they go off script, and, you know, you, the unintended consequences are you could, you know, screw the, the, the scheme. And so, you know, that's, that's one thing. And then just the belief, guys, like, 
you have to have tunnel vision and just go and just build off it. And that's the only way I know how to do it. And we'll continue to do that starting tomorrow. I take it there's no way you're going to shave now? No. This thing's, I guess, it's growing. I won't let it get completely unkempt. I'll try to look like some of you guys back there. Um, yeah, my wife suggested it. So we'll see. I'll keep it going. Did you have, did you, have you mentioned your mom earlier. Did you have any family here? Just out of curiosity? Or, or no. Uh, no, I didn't. So maybe I'll tell them to stay away. <laughs> your, your, wife like suggested, a, your wife suggested it because she likes the look, or she's just looking for something to shake you out of 0 and 2? Uh, probably both. Yeah. Probably both. Is this a regular season beard then, not the antithesis of a playoff beard? Yeah, I don't think you can call it. <laughs> just get a win beard. How about that? Yeah. All right, anything else? Anybody, anybody got anything else? Good. You guys good? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, guys.